In our understanding of history, our imagination must be allowed to stretch the boundaries of what we have interpreted common sense to be. We are constantly coming across artifacts that we are classing as out of place artifacts because it does not fit our closed minded approach to what the true timeline of our civilization actually is. For centuries now, we have believed almost without question that modern civilization began right around 5,000 years ago. All of a sudden, we were building cities, monuments, structures beyond belief, and doing this all out of the blue at the first attempt and creating these things with such accuracy that modern machine tools even struggle to replicate these things. It does not make sense and you need to be off your head to believe this to be true. One intriguing area of the historical gateway is in that of the connection between Australia and Egypt. In Tutankhamun's tomb, there were boomerangs. Near the Great Pyramid, there are skeletons of kangaroos, and in Australia, there are reliefs that tell of a tale of how an Egyptian expeditionary force got cut off from civilization and got stranded there. Could this really be the case? Could the Great Flood have occurred at the same time as the Egyptians were over in Australia trading with the Aboriginal people? People point out that the hieroglyphs found there are pretty crappy, but not every Egyptian was a master engraver. These reliefs would have been carved by soldiers, not engravers. Another out of place artifact we see in the form of a coin unearthed in 1912 that was squirreled away for a lifetime before being handed into a museum. The story behind the discovery of an ancient Egyptian coin in far north Queensland is almost as mysterious as how it came to be there. The bronze coin, about the same size of a 50 cent piece, is estimated to have been mined during the reign of Ptolemy IV between 221 and 204 BC. Though these are school-driven estimates at best, guesswork on par with any weekend gambler's imagination in the loose sense of the terms of accuracies. Discovered underground in the depths of the far north Queensland rainforest by a guy named Andrew Henderson, who apparently had abandoned the gold mining fields of Victoria for a warmer climate. The story goes that on a rainy day in 1912, he was building a fence line, and as he was digging a hole for a fence post, his shovel hit something metallic, an ancient coin which he kept for over 40 years before handing it in when it finally dawned on him what he had discovered, just how an Egyptian coin made it from Egypt to Australia. Well, isn't it just as plausible that the Egyptians either colonized a part of Australia thousands of years ago, or even set up trade routes with the Aboriginal peoples? We would love to hear what you guys think of the connection between Australia and Egypt. Is it possible that in a time of history, before there was so much of a divide that most world civilizations were more closely connected than we ever thought possible? And if so, what lies under the waters that have claimed most of the lands that were once inhabited? Comments below and thank you for watching.